I just want to get you um, focused on this one because I'm going to have a quiz in the end. <laughs> so I'm going to give away my old blood ketometer and a new one, breath ketometer. So listen carefully. Okay, so here's my di disclosure. Um, I'm Michel Andel and I live from, in Sweden and I've been doing IT security, IT architecture, kite surfing, um, nutritionists, and a lot of stuff. So um, why did I start doing this ketonics, uh, the measuring my breath? I got epilepsy um, and I got medication and I got sick from the medication. It altered my personality. So I changed to diet instead. So now I'm full time working on developing devices for others so they can optimize their diet and be more healthy. So I'm going to talk about why you assess your ketosis, why it's important to do that. And I'm going to discuss a bit how you can do it with different ways. And what's the difference between those methods? There's a, it's really important. A ketone is not a ketone. It could be a different ketone. So I'm also going to talk about how we interpret the values we measure. It's important. And finally, we're going to have a quiz. <laughs> um, it's going to be fun. Um, so why? People use a ketogenic diet for different reasons. It could be for cancer, it could be <coughs> overweight, it could be sports, it could be narcolepsy, epilepsy, mind performance, sport performance, and fertility. I even had a girl from South Africa coming to my house in Sweden asking for a meter because they couldn't get them there. And she was trying to get pregnant. Uh, so different reasons and if we don't look at reasons we look at the effects instead we can group these people into wanting different effects from the ketogenic diet for example low blood sugar if you have diabetes you want a low blood sugar if you have cancer you want a low blood sugar fat burning if you have insulin resistance you all know that Jason is talking about fasting and burn off the fat from your liver. Uh, sport performance, you want to burn fat for fuel. Uh, weight loss, of course, you want to see that your weight is coming off. Ketones. Well, this is mainly the brain people you want the ketones for because the ketones can pass the blood barrier much better than anything else. And if they have a, a messed up sugar receptors, glucose receptors, then ketones is the thing for them. So they measure ketones. They want actually ketones. But others want other effects. And hormones change on this diet. So women can get more pregnant. So why do we assess this and I, it's to confirm to see that your lifestyle and your food works and if it doesn't work we learn and we try to optimize try to do something else try to have a little less protein a little less fat or more fat or zero carbs or whatever that's why we need to measure it so how do we measure it well you can measure it in at least three ways. Uh, you can measure it by blood samples. You have to prick your finger, use a strip. You can measure it by blowing into a device and measure your acetone. Or you can pee on strips. We're not going to discuss the pee on strips things because it's, uh, <laughs> it's messy. and um, It works in the beginning before your body gets used to the diet. Then it's it's more effective to convert this excess acetoacetate into beta-hydroxybutyrate and store it for later use. So 
we focus on the two first. And what I want you to know when you go from this place is the difference between these two ways of measuring ketones or ketosis. Breath is, is, is a gas and you measure acetone. Uh, it got a, a unit of ppm, parts per million, and it's waste. waste. I mean, you don't, but it doesn't use any acetone for anything. It just tries to get rid of, rid of it. Uh, blood, you measure beta hydroxybutyrate. That is energy. You measure it, it's, it's a measure in liquid to use millimole per liter. So there's no way to measure beta hydroxybutyrate from acetone and vice versa. And I will show you why you can't correlate with them too. So to do that, I need to have a short lesson in ketogenesis, how that works. Uh, have anybody heard, heard, heard about ketogenesis? Yeah, some, some, some. Then you know what I'm talking about. Um, free fatty acid is broken down in liver to form acetoacetate, which is the primary ketone. The acetoacetate can, can be converted into ATP, which is energy for us laymen. And from the acetoacetate, acetone is released. Beta hydroxybutyrate is formed from the acetoacetate that isn't used for energy. If this was the only thing that happened, we could have a, a correlation between acetone and beta hydroxybutyrate, but it's more to the picture. Acetone is getting into your lungs and out by your breath. So it's leaving your body continuously. It's not building up in your body. It's continuously leaving your body, which makes it a real-time indicator of ketosis. If there is no acetoacetate, there won't be any acetone released, and you can't measure it. So it's a good measure. Beta hydroxybutyrate. It will be buffered up in your bloodstream, so it will increase your concentration over time. And it's not that's not the only thing that is complicating this. It's actually it can be converted back to acetoacetate and be used as energy. And when that, that's happening, the concentration in your blood will decrease. It doesn't say that you're not in ketosis. It just says that, well, I use it. I need <coughs> it. The body uses the energy that it can find. So acetone is the real-time indicator, while beta hydroxybutyrate is uh, a, f a product of time and ketosis. Minus, I, I, will, I, will, I will get to that. In words, <laughs> here's what I said. Uh, acetone is continuously leaving the body. It's a real-time uh, indicator. And here's the most advanced sentence in this conference. Uh, BHB is the current buffer of energy in blood. The concentration is a sum of not used acetoacetate over time minus some amount of converted back to acetoacetate for energy plus what the concentration was before. You get what I want to say? <laughs> you had some concentration before, then you over time got another concentration, but you used some of it, so it's somewhere. So it doesn't really say, well, it's hard to say what blood measures really do. I will get to that. So how do we interpret this? Blood samples, if you get a zero or a very low value, what does that mean? Are you out of ketosis or are you in ketosis? Well, you don't know because you might have lifted a heavy chair or helped your neighbor to push his car or whatever. So the extra energy in your blood is used up, but you haven't eaten anything, you haven't done anything else, so you can actually be in ketosis and have zero in beta hydroxybutyrate. 
On the other hand, a significant value of beta hydroxybutyrate will tell you that you have been in ketosis or are in ketosis. So, you get that? Mm -hmm. uh, breath samples. If you don't have any acetone in your breath, you probably don't have any fat burning going on. So if I eat a lot of beta hydroxybutyrate, my body tells my liver, you don't need to produce any more energy. So I get out of ketosis, even if I have a lot of beta hydroxybutyrate. Understand? So no value, no ketosis, high value, high ketosis. It's a simple measure. So, what is a significant value if you measure blood? Well, Stephen Finney and Jeff Wolleck, they wrote a book about um, ketosis and performance. And they state that 0 0.5 to 3 millimolar per liter is um, nutritional ketosis. It's a ketosis that doesn't get your body into uh, lowering your metabolism. So somewhere between there, it's, it's a good measure. Breath value ranges. I found a review of how fat loss and breath was correlating. And uh, a good thing from that review is this diagram he made, which says the different ranges you can be in if you are uh, like us, ketogenic adults, or children with epilepsy, or fasting, or if you have ketoacidosis. So he also stated that 4 to 30 ppm would be in nutritional ketosis. Above 30 ppm, you have, uh, you're fasting a long time. So you will lower your metabolism. And a very interesting thing is that breath acetone, it correlates reverse to blood sugar. So if blood sugar goes up, ketosis goes down. I mean, it's, it's energy. Beta hydroxybutyrate, it doesn't correlate to sugar. You can have low sugar and high sugar and have a constant or whatever beta hydroxybutyrate. So breath acetone is very good at this. So you remember the slide I had about different grouping of effects? I think if we put methods, what's suitable on, on different group of people, I can say breath testing is, is working on everything. If you want high level of beta hydroxybutyrate, just keep the breath acetone high and it will build up. But because of the, low, the, 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 the blood, sh blood sugar issue with beta hydroxybutyrate, I don't think that is appropriate. If somebody has cancer, they shouldn't measure the beta hydroxybutyrate. They should be more careful about having a constant acetone level to have a low blood sugar. So on these other groups, you can test with blood, but you have to be aware of that a zero beta hydroxybutyrate could be in ketosis. You have to actually know what they're doing the context. So, now we come to the quiz. Uh, can Rod help me? So, the thing is we do like, I put a question and then have alternatives. And the first one who says her name and put up a hand, get a chance to say the right alternative. If that's not right, then we do it again. Okay? So, when fasting, at what time of day will breath acetone be the lowest? And the alternatives are... Who was first? I think you were first. In the morning, because... Because overnight you burned up all your ketones because you weren't eating anything. 
So, but he has a mm, I would say it's uh, it, it's the right answer, but it's the glucose production is actually raising in the morning. Yeah, that's true too. Yes. So, I'll give you a blood ketone meter. <laughs> it's two strips in it too. So, yeah. So now to the next question, and that is this one. So everybody knows. Raise your hand and scream, okay? <laughs> so, this is Jeff. We measured 0.2 in or out ketosis. You cannot raise your hand because you don't know the alternatives. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually have to wait until I press the button. Yeah, I see in or out or, yeah? There could be another answer. So, <laughs> B, maybe, exactly. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, he works hard, so he could actually have been using his speed at rock speed rate. So. Thank you. How was some time, wasn't it?